Well, a year ago, the price of gold skyrocketed. So many people traded in necklaces, rings, bracelets, coins, anything to cash in on the high prices. But where do those prices stand today? Is it even worth going through your jewelry box to see if you can make a quick buck? Well, joining us this afternoon to answer some of those questions is Wayne Hitchens, owner of the Gold Store in Daxborough. Wayne, appreciate you coming in. Uh, you. You've been on with us several times, and I appreciate that. So, how is gold compared to this time last year? Well, gold right now is $1,578 an ounce, and last year about this time it was $1,700, so it's dropped considerably. So, if what is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to buy? What? Well, at $1,578 an ounce, it's still a good time to sell or buy. I mean, either way. Anything, either way you want to do it. Why, why the fluctuation from last year to this? Well, the price of uh, uh, oil and other commodities uh, uh, have a lot to do with the price of gold and uh, and also the worldwide situations. Uh, if I could predict the price of gold, I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> so we don't know what we're going to get. <laughs> now you've got you brought me a couple of samples here. This is yeah. this is one ounce of pure gold here, yes. right? And then you gave me another one. What what is this one here? This is a that, troy. That's ounce. one. That's, that's one gram of gold. Oh, okay. So there's the difference there. You can see <laughs> yeah, the difference so. between an ounce of gold and uh, a gram of gold right there. Now also, uh, tell me about rhodium. I'd never heard of rhodium before. Well, rhodium is a precious metal. Uh, it, you can buy it in one ounce bars. Uh, most of them came, come from England. They're made by a manufacturer named Baird. And uh, rhodium is used in uh, jewelry, especially if, if you got a ring that you need the prongs uh, uh, hardened on the ring, right. then, you, then you would use rhodium to, to uh, do that. Years ago, rhodium was $10,000 an ounce. Wow. And now it's selling for like 1400 an ounce. So it's not just gold, but other prices. Right. But it hasn't dropped too. like some of the, so like the gold price. Yeah. It's what about silver? Up, uh, uh, silver right now is uh, like 2875 uh, an ounce. It's fallen in price just like gold. Yeah. Now you told me that it's not just necessarily the silver content, but what form and fashion. What is this you've got here? Uh, these are pandas. These are... Uh, uh, these are these are made by uh, ch the Chinese, and these are actually coins. And these uh, have a premium far above the spot price of silver. Uh, silver right now is like twenty eight seventy five, and now so these are selling retail for forty two dollars each. Yeah. Uh, but they didn't make many. They were all in, they were made in limited quantities. Ah. And the Chinese two years ago couldn't collect their own uh, money, but they had a bill passed where they could collect their own money, and now uh, you got the. Uh, a big uh, collector base in China buying all these things. So and when there's a limited it, amount of how yeah they don't last available, long. They don't so, last. so then the price the price naturally goes up on the pieces that you already have. Tell me about this thing, Wayne. What is this? Oh, uh, that's a five ounce of panda. Uh, they sell that panda sells for five hundred fifty dollars uh, because they didn't they made very few of those. But that's uh -huh. actually five ounces of silver made in proof and uh, it's a limited edition, just like the uh, one ounce pandas. Which in Proves right. and increases they, they make pandas uh, in kilos. Now, you could actually spend that in China. Really? Uh, they make pandas that are 32.15 ounces, which is a kilo that you could actually spend. Those things are that big around. How about that? Okay, you know, I've, I've never really gotten started in investing or anything like that. Give me a good tip. What should I do to get started? Well, uh, you just, you just uh, as, long, as long as you want to make sure that you don't... Uh, uh, have to buy something one week and sell it the next. So you want to uh. make sure that you got enough money, number one, to invest, that you've put aside some money to invest. And I think the metals are a good, uh, a good way to, a good way to increase your val the value of your money over the years. Good place to put your money. Wayne good Hitchens. Good place to put your money. The Gold Store in Daxborough. Thank you so much for coming in. You always bring such good stuff, and I want to walk away with half of it. Now, just in case you missed any of the information on the Gold Store, including a list of items the Gold Store buys, sells, and trades, just go to dumbarborlife.com and click on the Show tab. Well, now here's a look at what's coming up in the news. The first at 5 on Fox 21, a little bit later on, the WBOC News at 6.